Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson here, your friend and computer science professor from Johnson County Community College. In this short screencast, we're going to continue with JavaScript.info, the modern JavaScript tutorial, and we are now working in part two, which helps us connect our JavaScript to the browser and to the document inside the browser. We're working on section 1.2, the DOM tree. In the previous screencast, you learned that the DOM is a document object model. That's the representation of all the elements and content to JavaScript. Now, if your HTML is well indented and easy to read, the DOM is sort of obvious to you in your code. But the DOM is more than well indented HTML. The DOM is actually made up of nodes. And it's important to understand how those nodes are created because later we're going to want to traverse through the DOM to insert content, to find content, and sometimes we want to traverse through these nodes. And so the DOM is actually made up of nodes. And this small little example of HTML is represented in the DOM as nodes in this way. The element nodes are in blue, and the text nodes are in this light orange. And the interesting thing is that you get a text node every time you add spaces or hit enter after an ending tag. So for example, these spaces right here are this little text node. Then we have the title element. Then we have the text about elks. And then notice that after the title tag, there's a press of an enter key. And after the head closing tag, there's a press of an enter key. And those are those two nodes. Then we open up with body. And then we have more text, the truth about elk. Even though we're on a different line here in line seven, we did not get another inner key node because we're inside this opening element. We only get these text nodes when we're either adding space before an opening element or when we're pressing enter after an ending element. And that is explained in these paragraphs that follow that little example. Here's another little example of the same exact web page, only without any extra spaces or hits of the inner key. And in this case, we get the DOM and the nodes that you would probably expect, just the elements and just the text nodes. We're not getting these extra text nodes because we haven't added with space or hit the inner key after a closing tag. This lesson further goes to say that if your HTML is not validated, for example, if you're missing a closing tag or if you've put content after the closing body tag, the browser will actually auto-correct that for you and create a correct DOM for your JavaScript to work against. There's a message about tables that tables always have a key body element in the DOM, whether or not that's in your HTML. And then he also talks about other node types. In addition to text nodes and element nodes, which are our most common, there's a comment node type. So anytime that you have a comment in your HTML, you will get a node from that as well. And he's got that diagrammed here in green. So the key part about this lesson is to realize that the DOM is made up of nodes. And the DOM starts with your HTML and your content, but actually adds things such as text nodes every time you press enter after an ending tag or if you add space before an opening element tag, a new text node will be added to your DOM. Later in the lesson, he, he gives a link to this live DOM viewer. So anytime you want to see the DOM that's created, you can just copy and paste it into the live DOM viewer and the entire DOM with these additional blank text nodes will be displayed for you. Later on in the lesson, he talks about the developer tools of browser inspector, which we've already explored a little bit. And you open the developer tools by right clicking your web page and choosing the inspect menu option. He talks about the elements tab showing you the DOM and displaying your HTML and your styles and the console tab, which displays JavaScript error messages and allows you to practice with some JavaScript statements. It's also where all of our console logs will show up. So this section gives you some good tips on how to use the developer tools, both the elements tab and the console tab to find out information about your web page. Thank you.